Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you around Coefficient's Webflow connector. So once you've installed Coefficient, open up Extensions, find Coefficient and select Launch. Then from the sidebar, select Import From. And next to Connected Sources, you'll want to select this little blue Add. And then scroll until you find Webflow. There it is. And we'll select to connect. And then here we'll select to authorize, which will open up this tab. And from here, you'll have the option to select which sites or workspaces you want to authorize. So I'm just going to select this box to authorize them all. And then in the bottom right corner, select to authorize app. Once you've authorized your app, you can select to start from scratch, which will open the import preview. And from here, you have a whole bunch of different options of objects and reports to choose from. So with this connector, you can seamlessly import your Webflow data into your spreadsheet and enable automatic refreshes and then keep that data live. So from there, it's up to you to decide how to leverage this live data. You can analyze your marketing assets. You can audit existing content. Uh, you can manage your orders. Uh, the next step's really up to you. So today, I'll show you how to get started and we can select to a assets import. So then here we'll select site ID and then preview. So you can select all uh, or you can curate your import to have just the fields that you want. And then once you have them here in your preview, you can also move them to the left or right to have them refresh exactly as you have here. And then once you're happy with that, select to import your data. To make sure that my data stays up to date, I will set up a refresh schedule of daily at 9 a.m. But now that I've shown you how to import data into your spreadsheet, you're all set to begin exploring your own Webflow data and really unlock the endless possibilities of what you can do in a spreadsheet. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.